It is Wednesday, my dudes, and that means a brand new episode of Moon Knight is ours. And um, all of my Greek god theories regarding Thoth down the drain. I'm sorry for leading you astray, but this week we have some answers. That's exciting, but it's also very sad that I was wrong. Today's episode of Moon Knight was titled Summon the Suit, and it was a lot about logistics of how Mark and Steven and Khonshu, who is the god we now know to be chasing Mark and Steven around, which some of you guys are Moon Knight fans and no one wanted to let me know in the comments that I was like very wrong about the Thaw thing, but that's okay. I don't know if that's in the comics or not. Some people are usually pretty vocal about telling me when I'm wrong, so I was surprised that no one had pointed that out to me. And so I liked that we did get that reveal and kind of that clarification of how it works, who Mark Spector is versus who Steven is, kind of how their lives and Mark's past are now colliding with Steven's present, as well as like why Khonshu needs them to do the things they do, as well as kind of a little bit more about Amit with Arthur. And that's probably the part of the episode that's most interesting to me, not only because I always think it's interesting some sort of like cult element is brought into like a show like this because it's like it's a Marvel show, why would it be about a cult? But Arthur and the followers of Amit obviously seem to be some type of a cult. They believe in this achieved utopia based on Amit's judgment. But what I thought was particularly interesting about that and Amit's mission and what Arthur wants is that it really connects to the rest of the MCU and kind of what thematically the MCU is about, at least in my view of it, in my opinion. And just because like the first episode of this show, I was like, where really is the connection to Marvel though? I don't feel it. It feels like slightly more different. Again, not a bad thing. But what I realized it is, is it's this central question that's always been in all the MCU movies about like what does it mean to be a human and like how do you achieve justice or do good the notion of human and humanity in terms of like free will and things like that for example Amit wants to judge people before the evil even takes place which is extremely similar to Ultron in the sense that Ultron was designed to protect the world from potential threats but what he ended up finding was that everyone kind of had the potential for wrongdoing and so he was going to eradicate a lot more people same sort of thing with thanos thanos thinks he is being just by having random erasing half of the universe for the greater good and that's always what these villains kind of want to do and that's what i think to me makes a good marvel villain is they think that the thing that they're doing is righteous yet in actuality it's they can't see the flaws in their own plan. For example, with Arthur, he can't see the difference between a child who would one day become a murderer, but they haven't become the murderer yet. And what if they choose to not act on that potential evil thought and instead grow up to be a perfectly normal human being? He would rather eradicate the threat before it begins. And so those are the things that I'm like so fascinated by in this series, because although the shiny new parts and the character itself, the link to ancient Egypt is something where the MCU hasn't gone before, that thematic presence of like what the heroes and villains are fighting for or against and what they think their kind of ideological worldview to be that is what's interesting because that is what defines us as human beings is how we choose to act on our own morality or how we believe that you can help other people or how much are you helping the greater good by some of these more extreme measures for example what arthur is thinking of taking so honestly that's my main takeaway that was the one thing that i thought was like outstanding about this episode the action was awesome there were several lines that i laughed and i was like that's gonna be on a t-shirt that's gonna be on fan merch ugly ploy coyote is what steven calls the jackal this is making no sense why i'm explaining to you what i thought was funny i did love getting the explanation as to why there's that suit that's like so dapper that's the moon knight suit and it's because steven's trying to summon it but he thinks of a suit as a normal tux suit Thing instead of like a superhero ceremonial garb situation and i do also like this because i think another element of the mcu i just oh, i love a good mcu thematic moment because everyone's just like it's superhero movies and it's not they're about real people in extraordinary circumstances but i loved how we kind of get to see how the gods are trying to have control here and how certain humans are then attached to those gods in a way to like make them more important or less important than someone else and I like that because there's obviously those elements that you see even in the ground level MCU with like Hawkeye, my man right there, Clint Barton, how he's like people, some people believe in Thanos' ideology of getting rid of half of the population where he was the one responsible, it was her, her own choice, but in part for Natasha's death. All of that deciding who lives, who dies, playing God, they're things that I think are like really universal themes in television and film. Um, some do it better than others. <clears throat> I think Morbius was attempting to do that. Poor thing, did not really achieve it. But here, I really like that connection because like I said, it doesn't feel like the MCU in 
the same way that an, a show with pre-existing characters that we know feels, but I like where it's going because of those thematic things. Please let me know what you thought of this episode of Moon Knight down in the comments below. We'd love to get your thoughts on the episode and talk about it further, and if anyone knows a little bit more about Khonshu, didn't get the time to research it this morning, so drop that info in the comments below. Also, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and please consider subscribing so you don't miss my weekly Moon Knight reviews or any other times that I talk about Marvel content. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely amazing Wednesday, and I will see you in my very next video. Bye, y'all.